Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about law of probability applied to genetics and here's a problem given a cross between a plant that is heterozygous purple flowered and plant that is homozygous white flowered what is the probability of obtaining four purple flowers and seven white flowers among the offspring and if you know how to solve this problem you may stop video here try to solve this problem on your own and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And here on the left, uh, four answers is given and one is uh, correct. So you can uh, check your answer also. So uh, how we are going to solve this problem? And in order to solve this problem, we are going to use a uh, factorial method. And here is the formula that we are going to use. And here would be N divided by s and t. If you don't know what is a factorial method, uh, don't be scared. I would explain this is very easy. And multiply it by p raised s and by q raised t. So this is going to be our formula today that we are going to use in order to solve this problem. And now I want to explain uh, all these um, letters in this uh, formula. So N stands for the total number of uh, plants in our case. And S stands for the one kind of plants, for example, purple. And T stands for the other kind of plants that is uh, white. And P stands for the probability of uh, S kind plants and Q is the probability of the T kind plants. So these numbers are the same as here and this is, is the same as here. So let's apply it uh, to our problem and um, total number of plants that we have here would be 11. So 11 factorial divided by total number of uh, purple flowers would be 4 divided by 4 factorial and total number of white flowered plants would be 7. So 7 factorial. And what is the probability of occurrence of the purple flowers? We can find if we build a Punnett square. So, for example, um, one parent that is uh, purple flowered is heterozygous. It's not, for example, it's uh, given in our problem. So, heterozygous purple flowered plant. So, let it be capital A, small a genotype. And plant that is homozygous white. So, we cross these two plants. So homozygous white would be on this side so this would be homozygous white and this would be uh, heterozygous purple now we build the Punnett square so you can see uh, all the genotypes that is possible here so here would be um, heterozygous heterozygous genotype here homozygous recessive here and homozygous recessive here. So that means that this is would be uh, white flowered plants, so one half, and uh, one half would be purple flowered. So as you see, uh, we have uh, equal chances when we make such a cross that uh, offspring would be with uh, white flowered or purple flowered. So what is the probability of uh, S kind? This is one half. So S stands for the purple flowers. So here we have to put one half. That is probability of the purple uh, flowered plants. And here 4 goes here. So raised 4. 
Now we have to multiply by the probability uh, of the t event, and this is uh, one half also. So probability would be one half raised by the number of the uh, t event, and this is seven. So now we just have to calculate. Uh, do all the calculations and uh, it would be easy if you know what is the factorials and this is uh, very easy so for example factorial 5 would be just regression of this number multiplied by itself so uh, factorial 5 would be the same as 5 multiplied by 4 by 3 by 2 and by 1 and factorial for example um, 6 would be 6 multiplied by 5, by 4, by 3, by 2, and by 1. So, uh, as you see, this is uh, very easy. So, let's do uh, all the calculations. So, factorial of 11 would be 11 multiplied by 10, by 9, by 8, by 7, by 6, by 5, by 4, by 3, by 2, and by 1, divided by factorial of 4, would be 4 multiplied by 3, by 2, and by 1, and multiplied by factorial 7, would be 7 multiplied by 6, by 5, by 4, by 3, by 2, and by 1. So, as you see, we can uh, cancel um, same numbers on top and below so this is going to be the same numbers so we uh, can cancel them and here we can reduce for example uh, instead of this 4 and this 10 we can uh, reduce by half so here we would have 5 and 2 and we can reduce 9 and 3 so 1 here and 3 here and we can reduce this uh, 2 and 8, so 4 here and 1 here. And we also can reduce uh, this 4 and this 2, so we would have here 1 and here we would uh, left with 2. So we have to multiply on the top 11 by 5 by 3 and by 2. And here on the bottom we only have 1. So any number divided by 1 would be the same number. And here we would have 330. So we have solved uh, this part of the formula. And now we have to solve this part of the formula and just multiply these numbers. And here 1 half raised 4 and multiplied by 1 half raised 7 would be the same as uh, 1 half raised 11. But if we would have uh, different numbers here, so we have to do uh, calculations uh, separately. So uh, here we would have uh, 330 multiplied. So now we can use calculator and find this number as a decimal and this number going to be 0 0.0004888281 so if we multiply these numbers we are going to get uh, the answer 0 0.1611 so as you see, the correct answer would be B. And if you need an answer as a percentage, because this is not a 0.1%, and this is this number is given on the scale between 0 and 1, and if we need an answer on the scale between 0 and 100%, we just have to multiply this number by 100, and we are going to get an answer as 16.11%. Uh,
but today's answer given on this scale so this is going to be our answer and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye